Here we have three terms, and our terms are 1 over x plus 2, 3 over x squared minus 4, and on the right-hand side, 2 over 2 minus x. And in the previous video, I explained that the first thing you want to do is find the lowest common denominator. Here we have x plus 2, and remember this is a difference of two squares, and here we have the same values, but the only thing that's wrong is that x is a negative value. So in our first term, there is nothing that we can do to the denominator, so we'll have x plus 2. But in the second term, I can identify this difference of two squares, and from grade 9, you would know that you can factorize a difference of two squares. Next, we need to deal with the 2 minus x. So this is called the sign change rule. If I change the sign of the fraction to negative, it will allow me to swap these two positions. So x will become positive and the 2 would become negative. So if I look at the denominators now, I would have x plus 2, and that is repeated in the second term. And I have x minus 2, and that is also repeated in the second term. So the lowest common denominator in this equation would be x plus 2 times x minus 2. Our aim now is to get rid of the fractions. What we want to do with the LCD is multiply every term with the LCD, and we'll only multiply in the numerator. Let's rewrite this. This will be 1 times x plus 2, x minus 2, which is the LCD, over x plus 2. And you can see in the first term, by multiplying with the LCD, x plus 2 would cancel out. Then in the second term, we have 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. And because we are multiplying, we can cancel out the x plus 2s and the x minus 2s. And on the right hand side, we have negative 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. And what will cancel out is the x minus 2s. So it might be helpful to use a highlighter so you can see what is left. So in our first term, we're left with 1 multiplied with x minus 2. In our second term, we only have 3. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 2 times x plus 2. Now, as you get used to multiplying with the LCD, you would actually start skipping this step because you can already see which terms you would cancel out by inspection. So now we can multiply out. So we have 1 times x is x, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus 3, and that is equal to negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, and negative 2 times plus 2, which is minus 4. So I can move all the x's to the left and all the constant values to the right. So I will have x plus 2x, and then minus 4, minus 3, plus 2. So I'm moving the negative 2 and the plus 3 to the right. So on the left, we'll have x plus 2x, which is 3x, because they are like terms. And on the right, we'll have negative 4 minus 3, which is negative 7, plus 2, and that is equal to negative 5. And now I divide both sides by 3 to get x alone. So I have x is equal to negative 5 over 3.